Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, factoring is one of the techniques on how to solve quadratic equations. And now, let us try to find the value of x given this equation, x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Since the first term is x squared, or in other words, the value of a is 1, my technique here is to prepare two sets of parentheses here, then equal to 0. And basically, I factor out ko lang yung x squared as x times x because x times x is simply x squared. Now, ang pinaka-problem na lang natin dito is to figure out what must be the numbers here or the terms na kailangan natin ilagay sa ating factors. And to find those numbers, we need to consider the constant, which is yung 6 natin at yung ating b, which is the 5. Now, paano yung principle? Mag-iisip yung dalawang numbers that will multiply and the answer is 6, but when we add them, the correct answer is 5. Again, here's the principle. The low numbers na kapag multiply natin, the correct answer or the product is 6, and the sum is equal to 5. Para malaman natin yan, we need to list down the fact, some of the factors of 6. We have 1 times 6. We also have 2 times 3, and aside from using the positive number, since 6 is positive, we can also use negative 1 and negative 6. We can also use negative 2 and negative 3. Remember, all of these pairs, kapag multiply mo siya, ang lalabas dyan ay positive 6. Pero ang tanong, which of these pairs will give us the sum of 5. Okay, very good. The correct answer is 2 and 3. Let us check. What is 2 times 3? The correct answer is 6. What is 2 plus 3? The correct answer is 5. So right now, we will use 2 and 3, and we will put that here, plus 2, then plus 3. And after factoring out the trinomial, what we need to do is to use the zero product property. Ang gagawin lang naman natin dito is that we will equate each factor by zero. We have x plus 2 for the first factor, then equal to zero. Then, second factor x plus 3 is also equal to zero. And then we will solve for the value of x. For the shortcut, I will transpose 2 and it will become x is equal to negative 2. And this is now the first value of x. Next, we have this one, transpose 3 to the other side. Remember, ha? when you are transposing a term, ang nangyayari is that nagbabago yung ating sign. So this one will become x is equal to negative 3. So right now, we have two possible of values of x which is negative 2 or negative 3. Okay? Now let's move on with the second example. For the second example, we have x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. So how are we going to solve for this equation? So since the first term is x squared, what will happen here is that maglagay lang tayo ng two sets of parentheses natin dito, then equal to 0, and automatically, we have here x and x. Now, ang kailangan natin figure out is that anong factors ng negative 10 that will add up to negative 3. So, gagawin natin dito, list down natin lahat or yung mga pwede nang gamitin. So, we have negative 10. So, we can use... Um, since, guys, ha, since this one is a negative number... Remember, the 10 is negative, eh? Automatically, the sign of our factors must be different. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Possible na isa ay positive and the other is negative. Pwede naman yung isa ay negative while the other is positive. 
So, unay natin dito yung pinakamalapit which is negative 5 and 2. Tapos, pwede rin namang positive 5 and negative 2. Ngayon, um, yung 1 and 10 ba pwede? Yes, pero nga lang, medyo malayo siya to get 3. That's why nag-focus lang ako sa 5 and 2. So right now, if we will add negative 5 and 2, it will give us negative 3. Meaning, what we need here is negative 5 or our negative 5 and positive 2. In this case, we can now proceed with the values of x. So equate natin yung paresa factor, x minus 5 is equal to 0, while the other one is x plus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose natin to sa kabila to become x is equal to 5. This is now the first value of x. Here, we have transpose, we need to transpose 2. x is equal to negative 2. And as you can see, the values of x are 5 or negative 2. So I hope na nakuha nyo yung lesson natin ngayon. And as part of our routine, I will give you example number 3. And I want you to comment down below what are the values of x or the solutions of x for the quadratic equation x squared plus 6x plus 7 is equal to 0. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to factor or solve quadratic equations by factoring. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and Bye-bye!